there are 2n plus 1 terms in an AP, then prove that the ratio of the sum of odd terms and the ratio of even terms is n plus 1 is to n. Well, there are 2n plus 1 terms. So clearly, these are odd terms. So if, say, we have 5 terms in uh, an AP, then 3 terms will be odd and 2 terms will be even. So here, because there are 2n plus 1 terms, so clearly n plus 1 terms will be odd and n terms will be even terms. So let's solve it. Taking the AP, say A, A plus D, A plus 2D, up to 2n plus 1 terms. Now I collect odd terms. So this is A, A plus 2D, a plus 4d up to how many terms up to n plus 1 terms now what is the sum if I take sum of odd terms then using the formula sn is equal to n by 2 inside the bracket 2a plus n minus 1d here n is actually n plus 1 and d is 2d. Just see, the common difference is second term minus the first term. So the common difference here is second term minus the first term, which is 2d. And number of terms, that is n, here is not n, it is n plus 1. So using that, we apply the formula. So it turns to n plus 1 by 2, 2, a, because the first term is a plus now what is n n plus 1 minus 1 into 2d so this is n plus 1 upon 2 2 a into n because this 1 and minus 1 is gone into 2d so we can take 2 common and clearly we are left with the expression n plus 1 into a plus nd. Now, if you take the other part of the AP, it is a plus d, which is the first term, a plus 3d, a plus 5d, up to n terms. So here, the first term is a plus d, which is very important. Common difference is second term minus the first term which is 2d and number of terms is n now applying the formula and this time we are calling it s of even it is n by 2 into 2a a is a plus d this is very important here plus n minus 1 into 2d now we are opening the bracket For junior classes, you show each and every step, but if you are in senior classes like in 11th and 12th, you can skip few steps or in CPT, you can skip few steps. Now taking two common, we are left with N into A plus ND. Now coming on to the ratio. The ratio of odd terms to even terms. And that is so clearly this factor is common and we can cancel that. And we are left with n plus 1 by n, which is the required answer. So this implies sum of odd terms is to sum of even terms is in the ratio n plus 1 is to n hence proved or quite easily done thank you very much